All right, everybody, who doesn't love hot cars and fast women? That's right. We're going to go over Fast 6. So let's see. There's six of these films, so it's a bit of a story. And the storyline here, and yes, it does start off right where Fast 5 left off. Don and Elena are together and, ha and ha have a happy couple, and uh, Brian is having his baby, and it's, it's a happy life in Brazil. Especially when you got a couple of mil million in your bank account. Now, I did love the fact. I did love the fact because uh, most films don't go where the previous uh, films left off. I mean, not. I mean, exactly where it left off. Not. Not a lot of do. Not a lot of movies do that. I also love the fact that they uh, flashbacked uh, for the first five, except for Tokyo Drift, of course, um, in the beginning of the credits. When they were showing the, uh, you know, the fest, like what movie this is. Uh, now the storyline uh, here is interesting because it circles around Letty. Now we left, we left her uh, in Fast Five with the notion uh, that she's alive. If you didn't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the end of the credits of Fast Five. Okay, you need to know that fact. She's alive and she's doing well. Apparently, she. But the only thing that the story here is that she doesn't know who she is. She has amnesia, so it kind of take. That's where the twist comes in here. So th this story is why and what happened with Letty. It, it that it circles around her. It it takes place with her. Now you don't follow her throughout the whole entire thing, but you do follow her for the majority of the of of the film. And of course, yes, the casting is the same. You have Vin Diesel, Paul Wa Paul Walker. The Rock is back for a second round. Not to mention uh, Tyrese G uh, Gibson, uh, Sung King is still the comedy, uh, uh, still the comedy circuit in this one, like they usually do. Gal Gadot, uh, Ludacris, and even Elisa uh, Pataki and Jordan Brewster had a uh, a couple good scenes. And the villain of the film, who was uh, Luke Evans. If you don't know who it is, it's okay. But if if you do recognize him, you say to yourself, you recognize him. He was um, Zeus in Immortals, so they and that was kind of cool to see. Uh, but my personal favorite, and she, her first movie uh, wasn't the best. It was uh, Haywire, but they brought in Gina Carano, uh, Gina Carano, the UFC fighter, as uh, Rocky's partner, and she kicked some serious. Uh, ass man, the, you know UFC fighters just what they needed to kick this uh, this franchise up a notch, and of course, you know the fire of this franchise, Michelle Rodriguez, who again circles around, but everyone was just fantastic as you was good as usual. Uh, it was fun to see everybody back together again, uh, but in hindsight, there are problems. And then again, what film doesn't these days? Uh, but there, but uh, there were now. I, I love. I love now. I love the fight scenes and especially the chase scenes. And uh, oh man, it was absolutely heart pounding. Uh, but in those scenes, though, they were a bit shaky and a tad cloudy for, at, for some reason. And none, nonetheless, they're still kick ass as usual. Um, but it was just really hard to focus on what was going on, you know, th throughout some of the fights. Um, but my favorite fights were. Um, the Rocky fights, obviously, and uh, Michelle Rodriguez and Gina Carano have a couple fights, and oh my god, th th those were just fantastic scene, uh, fight scenes. I, I love the one where the first one that they do in the in the train station. Holy shit, man! It was uh, it was absolutely fantastic to watch, and uh, even with flaws, um, even with those types of flaws, the the writing was still okay. It's not the greatest, but it's still good enough to be entertaining. And yes, uh, it was directed yet again by Justin uh, Justin Lin, who seems to make this fri uh, franchise bigger, crazier, and louder than the last one. And boy, does he ever succeed with uh, season si uh, fr uh, the sixth one. Um, now, if you've seen Tokyo Drift, and you probably got confused, you're definitely not alone. Fast Six actually leads into it. So what you have is one, two, four, five, six, Tokyo. And then you have you're gonna have the seventh one, and yes, they're coming out with another one. And uh, I'm telling you right now, stay until at least until the middle of the credits because uh, you'll find out how and what happened to um, Sung uh, Kang's character uh, in the in in this one. And 
to see what happens to him and to see who's involved, I will, I'm going to tell you this right now. You will shit bricks. And speaking of shitting bricks, what? I like that saying, alright? It's funny. Who shits bricks? It's hilarious. Um, but anyway, it, look, it's a great film, auxilar very exhilarating, uh, heart pumping, awesomeness. It's just pure awesomeness. Rec I recommending it on all cylinders. I cannot believe you guys kept that joke in. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have a crack writing staff here. You can't you can't go uh, can't go wrong with my staff here. But yes, I do. Th I do think you should check this out. Uh, it, it's, you'll have fun with it. You'll be at the edge of your seats. Um, but what also you can do check out is my awesome channel so make sure you subscribe right here and then uh, make sure you give my video a thumbs up right here somewhere and uh, make sure you share my videos obviously you know with the internets and uh, next up will be right after earth yeah it'll be Shyamalan's uh, after earth his newest treasure so uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that